Oregon, a land of forests and mountains, a place of breathtaking beauty. But beneath this beauty lies a sleeping giant, Newberry Volcano, a caldera, a massive crater hidden in plain sight. It spans miles, larger than some cities. Don't be deceived by its calm. Newberry is not extinct, just dormant, a slumbering giant. It has slept for centuries. Now, it begins to stir. Scientists are watching with increasing concern. Satellite data reveals a startling reality. The ground above Newberry is rising. This is no illusion. The land itself is swelling. A clear sign of activity below. The sleeping giant is waking up. Satellites serve as our vigilant observers in the sky. They monitor our planet and track its changes. These sophisticated devices orbit the Earth, capturing detailed images and data that help us understand the dynamic nature of our world. From tracking weather patterns to observing geological activities, satellites are essential in our quest to comprehend the planet we call home. Recently, they've detected something unusual, an anomaly that has piqued the interest of scientists and researchers alike. This unexpected activity has sparked a wave of curiosity and concern within the scientific community. The ground around Newberry is rising. This isn't just a minor shift, it's a significant movement that has been steadily increasing over time. The Newberry Volcano, a massive shield volcano located in central Oregon, is showing signs of activity that haven't been seen in years. It's like the Earth is taking a deep breath. This swelling is significant. Imagine the ground beneath your feet slowly rising, as if the Earth itself is inhaling. This phenomenon is not only fascinating, but also a bit unsettling as it indicates potential volcanic activity. It covers a large area. The swelling isn't confined to a small region. It spans across a vast expanse of the Newberry area, affecting the landscape in ways that are both visible and measurable. Scientists use a technique called INSAR. This advanced technology allows them to detect and measure ground deformation with incredible accuracy. By analyzing the data collected through INSAR, scientists can gain insights into the underlying processes causing the ground to move. It stands for Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar. This sophisticated method involves using radar signals to create detailed maps of ground deformation, providing a clear picture of how the Earth's surface is changing over time. Don't worry about the name. The important thing to understand is that INSAR is a powerful tool that helps scientists monitor and analyze geological activities with remarkable precision. Just know it's very precise. The data obtained through INSAR is incredibly detailed, allowing scientists to detect even the slightest movements in the ground. This level of precision is crucial for understanding the dynamics of volcanic activity. INSAR shows us how the ground deforms. By comparing images taken at different times, scientists can create detailed maps that reveal the patterns of ground movement, helping them to predict future activity. Over time, the data reveals a pattern. Newberry is inflating. The continuous monitoring of the area has shown a clear trend of inflation, indicating that magma is accumulating beneath the surface. This isn't the first time. Historical data shows that Newberry has experienced similar episodes of inflation and deflation in the past, suggesting a cyclical pattern of volcanic activity. The ground has risen and fallen before. These cycles of rising and falling ground levels are a natural part of the volcanic process, driven by the movement of magma beneath the surface. Cycles of inflation and deflation. These patterns are crucial for understanding the behavior of the volcano and predicting future eruptions. But this time feels different. The current rate of swelling is unprecedented, raising concerns among scientists about what might be happening beneath the surface. The rate of swelling is faster, more pronounced. This accelerated deformation suggests that there may be significant changes occurring within the magma chamber, potentially leading to increased volcanic activity. This suggests something significant is happening below. The rapid swelling and increased activity indicate that the Newberry Volcano may be gearing up for a new phase of activity, making it a critical area of study for scientists and researchers. Newberry Volcano boasts a rich history. This ancient behemoth has stood the test of time, resilient and towering through the ages. Its narrative is woven into the Earth's very fabric, showcasing the raw power and splendor of nature. 
It has erupted numerous times, each eruption a dramatic spectacle, reshaping the terrain, redirecting rivers, and affecting the lives of those in its vicinity. These eruptions are not merely destructive events, but also moments of creation, giving rise to new landforms and ecosystems, spanning hundreds of thousands of years. The volcano's activity stretches across millennia, with each eruption adding a new chapter to its intricate history. The stratigraphic layers narrate a tale of fire and ash, molten rock, and cooling lava, a geological record of Earth's dynamic processes. It formed a colossal caldera. This vast depression is a testament to the volcano's explosive past, a massive crater created by the collapse of land following a significant eruption. The caldera is a landscape of contrasts, with rugged terrain and tranquil lakes, a place of both beauty and peril. 17 miles long, 6 miles wide. These staggering dimensions highlight the immense forces at work beneath the Earth's surface. The caldera is a world unto itself, a vast expanse that holds secrets of the past and clues to the future. Within this caldera, hundreds of volcanic features. Each feature contributes to the volcano's story, from the smallest cinder cone to the largest lava flow. These features are the volcano's fingerprints, unique and varied, each one a chapter in Newberry's ongoing saga. Cinder cones, lava flows, evidence of past fury, these formations are remnants of past eruptions, frozen in time. They serve as stark reminders of the volcano's power, offering a glimpse into the Earth's fiery heart. The last eruption occurred 1,300 years ago. In human terms, this seems like an eternity, but in geological time, it is merely a moment. The volcano has been quiet for centuries, but its silence is deceptive. A blink of an eye in geological time. Earth's processes move at their own pace, indifferent to human timelines. The volcano's dormancy is just a pause in its long and active life, a brief interlude in a story that spans millions of years. Since then, silence, at least on the surface. Underground, a different story. Beneath the quiet exterior, the volcano is very much alive, with molten rock moving and shifting preparing for the next chapter in its story. Molten rock, called magma, churns and shifts. This underground activity is the heartbeat of the volcano, a constant reminder of the forces at work beneath our feet. The magma is a source of both potential destruction and creation, a powerful force that shapes the landscape. Deep below the Earth's crust, the magma resides in vast chambers, reservoirs of molten rock that feed the volcano's eruptions. These chambers are like the lungs of the volcano, expanding and contracting with the movement of magma. It seeks a path to escape. The magma moves through cracks and fissures, searching for a way to the surface. This movement is a slow and relentless process, driven by the immense pressure and heat within the Earth. This constant pressure shapes the volcano. The forces at work beneath the surface mold the landscape, creating new features and altering existing ones. The volcano is a dynamic and ever-changing entity, a testament to the power of geological processes, like a sculptor molding clay. The Earth itself is the artist, using the tools of fire and pressure to create a masterpiece. The volcano is a work in progress, a living sculpture that tells the story of our planet's fiery heart. Hidden deep under Newberry lies a magma chamber, a vast reservoir of molten rock. Imagine it as a massive balloon underground. As magma ascends from the Earth's mantle, it inflates this chamber. Pressure mounts. The ground above begins to swell. Satellites are capturing this ground deformation. The current rate of swelling is concerning, indicating that the magma chamber is expanding. More magma means more pressure. This doesn't necessarily mean an eruption is imminent, but it significantly raises the risk. Scientists are analyzing the rate and pattern of this inflation, trying to decipher the activity below. It's akin to forecasting the weather, but instead of clouds, we're observing molten rock. Chapter 5. Rumbles in the Earth. Volcanoes are seldom quiet. They rumble and tremble. Scientists deploy seismometers, devices that detect ground vibrations. 
These vibrations, known as earthquakes, reveal a lot. Around Newberry, there's been a rise in seismic activity, mostly small quakes, too minor to feel, but the seismometers detect them. These quakes are clustered around the volcano, indicating unrest. Magma moving through fractures in the Earth's crust. The frequency and intensity of earthquakes are key. A sudden spike could indicate an imminent eruption. Chapter 6. Whispers of Fire. Volcanoes exhale. They emit gases. Carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide. These gases can be hazardous. They also reveal the volcano's state. Scientists keep a close watch on gas emissions. Variations in gas levels or types can signal danger. At Newberry, there's been a slight uptick in gas emissions. Not enough to cause immediate alarm. But when combined with other indicators, it raises concern. Like assembling a puzzle, each piece alone may seem insignificant, but together they form a clearer picture. Chapter 7. When Giants Erupt Forecasting volcanic eruptions is challenging. It's not a precise science. Yet, scientists utilize all the data they gather to evaluate the risk. At Newberry, the likelihood of an eruption is rising. It might be a minor eruption. Lava flows, ash clouds, or it could be significantly larger. A catastrophic event. A major eruption would be devastating. Ash clouds would ground flights. Pyroclastic flows, superheated mixtures of gas and ash, would obliterate everything in their path. Lava flows would transform the landscape. The effect on nearby communities would be enormous. Chapter 8. Nature's Fragile Balance Volcanic eruptions are formidable natural events. They serve as a stark reminder of nature's immense power. These eruptions underscore the interconnectedness of our planet. An eruption at Newberry could have widespread consequences. Ash clouds might disrupt air travel. Climate patterns could be altered. The environment would face severe impacts. Forests could be decimated. Rivers and lakes could become polluted. Wildlife would be forced to relocate. The ecological damage would be extensive. Awareness of these risks is crucial, and we must be ready. Chapter 9. Prepare for the Fury Newberry Volcano is a dormant giant, now stirring from its long slumber. This awe-inspiring yet intimidating natural structure has been inactive for centuries, but signs of its awakening are becoming more apparent. The ground quivers with minor tremors, and the air carries a faint whiff of sulfur. The question is not if it will erupt, but when. The exact timing of the eruption remains unknown. This uncertainty is unsettling, but it also compels us to stay alert. The tranquil crater may appear serene now, but beneath the surface, molten rock is on the move, building pressure that will eventually need to be released. We must be prepared. Monitoring is essential. Scientists are our first line of defense, working tirelessly to understand the volcano's behavior. They install advanced equipment to measure seismic activity, gas emissions, and ground deformation. Each piece of data collected brings us closer to predicting the next eruption. Scientists need resources to continue their research. Funding and support are crucial for these ongoing efforts. In the lab, researchers analyze volcanic samples, searching for clues in the rock's composition and structure. Their findings are shared with the global scientific community, contributing to a collective knowledge base that benefits us all. Early warning systems are vital. These systems are designed to detect the earliest signs of an impending eruption, giving us precious time to act. Scientists test and refine these devices, ensuring they are reliable and effective. The goal is to provide timely alerts that can save lives, to give people time to evacuate. Education is key. Communities living in the shadow of the volcano must be prepared. Emergency responders conduct evacuation drills, teaching residents the safest routes and procedures. These drills are not just exercises, they are rehearsals for survival. People need to understand the risks. Awareness programs and workshops are held to educate the public about volcanic hazards. Knowledge empowers people to make informed decisions and take appropriate actions when the time comes. They need to know what to do in case of an eruption. 
Instructional videos and infographics provide clear, concise information on safety measures. From creating emergency kits to identifying safe shelters, these resources are invaluable. Volcanoes are a powerful force of nature. They can be destructive. The sight of an eruption is both awe-inspiring and terrifying. Lava flows, ash clouds, and pyroclastic surges can devastate everything in their path. The raw power of a volcano is a reminder of nature's might, but they are also a reminder of the beauty and wonder of our planet. Despite their potential for destruction, volcanoes contribute to the Earth's beauty. They create fertile soils, form new land, and shape breathtaking landscapes. The interplay of fire and earth is a testament to the dynamic nature of our world. Let us respect their power. Observing a volcano from a safe distance allows us to appreciate its grandeur without risking our lives. Documentaries and educational programs help us understand these natural wonders and the importance of respecting their power. And let us be prepared. Preparedness is our best defense against the unpredictable nature of volcanoes. By staying informed, supporting scientific research, and participating in safety drills, we can protect ourselves and our communities. Together, we can face the fury of the volcano with resilience and strength.